Is it helicopter time already? It's helicopter time. Yes, science, specifically centrifuges. And if you're thinking, what the heck is a centrifuge and why am I making a video on one? Strap in. Centrifuges have many scientific applications, but the ones I'm talking about spin liquid at super high RPMs to strip out solids. Now, I don't know who was the first to do this, but some genius realized these can come in handy behind a bar. It goes like this. Take any opaque liquid that might go in a cocktail, add an enzyme, spin it in a centrifuge, and it'll come out clear. Remember this guy? It has tomato juice in it. The problem is centrifuges are big, heavy, and expensive, but then another genius came along and invented a home version, and that would be this genius, the one and only Dave Arnold. And this is his invention, the Spinzol, which takes the benefits of a laboratory centrifuge and makes them available to those of us who don't have many thousands of dollars kicking around. Now that I think of it, Dave Arnold may have been the first person to use a centrifuge behind the bar. Probably should have looked that up. Nah. At 800 bucks, this thing is squarely in the hopefully someday category, but a friend of mine bought one and was kind enough to lend it to me. When you have a hammer, everything is a nail, and when I had this blender-looking thing in my possession, I clarified everything. I made banana rum, strawberry bourbon, which leads me to this. Trader Joe's used to sell this chocolate coffee brownie that was amazing, and I thought, I want a cocktail with that. So I put one in a blender with a bunch of scotch, hit liquefy, and ran it through the spinzol. It's not entirely clear, but you're welcome to try and do better. It smells like chocolate. Chocolate, coffee, brownie, infused scotch. That's actually pretty good. Chocolate and coffee are front and center. Scotch is definitely there, but it is a little subdued. I'd probably use a higher ABV scotch next time. This is fine, but the real reason I dusted this off is because I've always wanted to make a drink with it, but was short an ingredient. Until now. I'll be right back. I'll be right back! Ah! Here my drink. Chocolate coffee scotch with a whisper of Maletti and my new best friend, Citron Liqueur. I'm not posting the recipe because there isn't really a way to duplicate this drink at home. Support me on Patreon if you want to try the drink. It's a joke, I don't have a Patreon. Oh man, that's good. Not surprisingly, the chocolate and the lemon go great together. Coffee takes a little bit more of a backseat here with just a little bit of cinnamon from the Maletti. Ah. Yeah, it's more or less exactly what I wanted it to be. Kind of a bitch to make, but eh. If you liked it, hit like, consider subscribing if you haven't already, and if there's something you think I should try, let me know in the comments. Stay safe, follow the advice professionals, and if you have two spinzols but you only need one, slide into my DMs.